Okay, in this video, we're going to give you an introduction on using NRoute 5 with a Techno CNC router and making aggregates not only easy to use but affordable as well. I think there's a misconception out there that you've got to spend a hundred thousand plus on a machine to utilize an aggregate and the software is complicated, but NRoute works really well with our Techno CNC routers to come up with an affordable, easy to use solution, and that's what this video is about. So once you draw your part, draw your slot, whatever you're going to be cutting in the horizontal axis with an aggregate, then you've got to toolpath it and then simply rotate it. So for the sake of time, we've toolpathed it, we've rotated it how we want. You can look in the perspective view and you can see the part we've moved inside the material down and also towards the edge here so we can access that, that part from the edge. Um, it takes a few minutes to understand how we're utilizing this because we're rotating things and moving things. In a, in a way we don't typically utilize an NRoute without, without an aggregate. So it's just a little bit different, but the software works just the same. And so since it's a platform, a lot of us are already used to, it works real well that way. Uh, we can even uh, go into uh, Simulate Ortho, and we can watch this part run. <clears throat> it gives you an idea of what we're doing there. And you can have multiple pieces along a, along a, a, a part. We're just going to do one quick one as an example in the software here. At this point, uh, we're ready to, to output. So I'm going to go to uh, machining and output and to file. We're going to call this ag2. <clears throat> and when you have a part <clears throat> rotated, NRAT automatically knows that's going to require an aggregate, so it pops up this aggregate setting screen. Now, I already have this filled in, but we'll quickly explain what these are. Um, vertical offset, that's half the diameter of the tool. So I have a 3 8 tool, so we type in negative uh, 0.1875. The horizontal offset, that's the distance from the center of my aggregate to the tip of the tool. Our aggregate comes with a drawing and a diagram, so you can see the dimensions of the actual aggregate. So all we did was added the length of the tool that was sticking out of the collet. And we just did that with a simple pair of calipers. The total comes up to 5.3983. Uh, the last thing we set up is the heading direction. That's based on a compass from 0 to 360. If we're traveling in the x-axis in the positive direction, which in this case with the aggregate we have set up, that's what we're doing, then we would leave the heading at 0. If we're coming from the other direction, we have a dual-sided aggregate, so if we want to use the other tool, we would put in 180 degrees for that heading. If the heading doesn't match the drawing, NROT will automatically not output that for you. So after this, we just simply click OK, and our file's been created. We're ready to go run this on the machine. better. 